When bereaved families went to see Boris Johnson in Darning Street, he met them in the garden. Hannah Brady, whose father Sean died of COVID, remembers showing the Prime Minister a photo of her dad in hospital. I showed him a picture of my dad on a ventilator, which I've never shown anybody before. And he looked me in the eyes and said that he'd done all he could to save him. But four days after my dad died, Boris Johnson thought he would make the most of the weather with a bring your own booze party in number 10 Downing Street. How does that make you feel now about your meeting with the Prime Minister and what he said to you? When I mentioned the date of the 16th of May, which is the day was my dad died, the first thought probably in his head was, oh, we had a really good knees up four days after that in this garden, wasn't that fun? They knew full well what they were doing was wrong. And even Conservative MPs think a price will have to be paid for what went on here. I think everybody would be angry about that. And as I said at the time when these news stories were broken and before Christmas, that, you know, if anybody's broken the rules, they have to be held accountable and face the consequences. Some have faced consequences. Illegal parties have been broken up, organisers prosecuted. Today's revelation increases the pressure on the police to act. When people were being charged... People were being criminalised because they broke the law. Here is prima facie evidence of government breaking its own law. When we all voted for legislation that would criminalise people, we've had the Prime Minister that's invited people in his office and invited people to a mass party. Amongst voters who couldn't even go to the pub at the time of the Downing Street party, there is a growing backlash. I quite like Boris, but I'm very disappointed by this news. Um, it's sad, really, because, you know, when I spend all that time not visiting my family. I don't believe most of the things he says now because of this. And even to do with COVID still, um, anything that he speaks about on the news, I just think it's lies most of the time, if I'm honest. Tory MPs are aware of that anger, but are also asking themselves if the Prime Minister has what it takes to salvage his reputation. Carl Dinnan News at 10, Westminster.